Hi, I would like to talk to you about something that's on my mind, just thinking about um, the rapture and um, and when it's going to be. Um, I would like to preface this little, little uh, discussion um, with uh, some scripture from 1 Thessalonians. Um, Starting with um, cha chapter 4, verse 13. But I do not want you to be ignorant, brethren, concerning those who have fallen asleep, lest you sorrow as others who have no, no hope. For if we believe that Jesus died and rose again, even so God will bring with him those who sleep in Jesus. For this we say to you by the word of the Lord, that we who are alive and remain until the coming of the Lord will by no means precede those who are asleep. For the Lord himself will descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of an archangel, and with, the, and with the trumpet of God, and the dead in Christ will rise first. Then we who are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air, and thus shall we always be with the Lord. Therefore, comfort one another with these words. And we go on to First Thessalonians ch chapter 5. But concerning the times and seasons, brethren, you have no need that I should write to you, for you yourselves know perfectly that the day of the Lord so comes as a thief in the night. For when they say peace and safety, then sudden destruction comes upon them as labor pains upon a pregnant woman. They shall not escape. But you, brethren, are not in darkness, so that this day should overtake you as a thief. You are all sons of light and sons of the day. We are not of the night or of darkness. Therefore, let us not sleep as others do, but let us watch and be sober. For those who sleep, sleep at night, and those who get drunk are drunk at night. But let us who are of the day be sober, putting on the breastplate of faith and love, and as a hope of, and as a helmet, the hope of salvation. For God did not appoint us to wrath, but to obtain salvation through our Lord Jesus Christ, who died for us, that whether we wake or sleep, we should live together with him. Therefore, comfort each other and edify one another, just as you also are doing. Now, um, now th th this um, bit of scripture, uh, which is talking about the rapture, um, I'm using as a preface for um, talking about um, Harold Camping and his failed um, prediction of the rapture uh, back in um, 2011. I mean. I mean, <clears throat> I mean, I'm reading from the Wikipedia article, um, American Christian radio host Harold Camping stated that the rapture and judgment day would take place on May 21st, 2011, and that the end of the world would take place five months later on October 21st, 2011. And, um, I mean, Camping, who was um, president of Family Radio Christian Network, claimed the Bible as a source and said that May 21st would be the day of eruption and the day of judgment beyond a shadow of a doubt. Camping suggested that it would occur at 6 p.m. local time with the rapture sweeping in a globe of time zone by time zone, while some of his supporters claimed that around 200 million people, approximately 3% of the world's population, would be raptured. Here, I mean, camping had previously claimed that the rapture would occur um, in September 1994. That's um, a pre previous prediction that he did uh, failed, but I'm focusing mostly on his 2011 prediction. The vast majority of Christian groups, including most Protestant and Catholic leaders, did not accept Camping's predictions. Some explicitly rejected them, citing Bible passages including the words of Jesus stating that about the, that day or hour, no one knows, which is from Matthew uh, 24, 36. An interview with a group of church leaders noted that all of them had scheduled church services as usual on Sunday, May 22nd. Feeling the, I mean, following the failure of the prediction, media att attention shifted to the response from camping and its followers. On May 23rd, camping stated that uh, May 21st had been a spiritual day of judgment and that the physical rapture would occur on 
October 21st, 2011, simultaneously with the destruction of the universe by God. However, on October 16th, Camping admitted to an interviewer that he did not know when the end would come and made no public comment after October 21st passed without his predicted um, apocalypse. On March 2012, Camping humbly acknowledged in a letter to family radio listeners that he had been mistaken that the attempt to predict the day was sinful and that critics had been right and pointing to the scriptural text of that day and hour no, no man. He added that um, he was searching the Bible even more fervently, not to find dates, but to be more faithful in our understanding. Excuse me. Uh, Excuse me. Uh, I might as well go with it. <laughs> Anyway, the whole the whole point of this um the whole, whole point of this um is um basically beware of um people who predict um when the end times are gonna happen, especially the rapture, I mean I mean Back when I was um, on Pal on Pal Talk um, in one of the Christian chat rooms, um, there was there was a <coughs> group of people that claimed to be claimed to be the witnesses. Uh, the two witnesses of Revelation, um, or something like that, stating that um, that the rapture or the end of the world is going to happen. Um, Precisely a year after, uh, year year after September eleventh, two thousand one, and uh, or something like that, and, and I had to constantly tell tell people as I did around the time time of um, two thousand eleven, um, after your prediction that. No man knows the hour or the day of the rapture, and that's what Jesus said. And, uh, and it's, and um, <laughs> that that day came and passed, and nothing happened. And, and just uh, and just just really sad that people, instead of listening to uh, what Scripture says. Uh, and up listening to what these false um, pro prophets are saying, it's like, like they very few of them are even sorry that they um, made made these predictions. <coughs> and just, uh, and they, instead of repenting, they end up doubling down on their. Um, under false predictions and like any Old Testament f false prophets would be um, t taken out and stoned to death. I mean, that's that's how serious God take, takes on um, false prophets. I mean, I mean, this is a. I mean, we don't do we don't kill. Um, False prophets in the um, New Testament, but we, we are to we are we are to avoid them and not not listen to them. If the thing De Deuteronomy says, um, if the thing the prophet has spoken has not come to pass, and we sh and that's the thing that God has not spoken through him through him, and we should not fear him. That that prophet. Anyway. That's really all I have to uh, share with you this morning. Sorry about the um, about the audio scrub. Let me give you. Anyway, have a good day, and God bless you.